He makes dumb jokes while he shoots his gun. Major Slack is lots of fun. Major Slack attack. Hey, wait a minute. There's no guns in this game. Shut up, Pee-wee. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be on this beautiful planet of ours. While this giant third rock from the sun careens through space at the unimaginable speed of 67,000 miles per hour, you are listening to the sultry, smooth sounds of Station SLAK coming at you live from Montreal, Quebec. We're here. It is still in the wee hours of early Monday morning. So, yours truly, Major Slack. Hello, how are you doing? We'll have to keep his voice low to avoid disturbing the neighbors, even though some of them don't deserve any such respect. But I digress. Let's move on. We are playing Skyrim on Legendary Difficulty, and this is the pure orc run where we're only going to use these six orc skills enchanting, smithing, heavy armor, block, two handed, and one handed. We have just finished raping, well, no, no, strike that, not raping, plundering, shall we say, plundering. I want to sell a location rife with dwarven automatons. We have gone through it. We have acquired the ancient knowledge perk. And now it is time to return to the scene of the crime and get the spoils. Um, we will need to empty out the inventory as much as possible. Let's start by selling off everything. I figure the best thing to do is to go to Windhelm where there is an enchanting table right behind the merchants and we can figure out if there's anything I picked up that uh, can be disenchanted. Let's wait till morning. Frequently asked question, how do I wait so fast? This is something you can only do on the PC version. Let me just uh, go through this once again. Uh, you can only do this on the PC version. Uh, bring up the wait function and take your mouse and drag the slider to wherever you want to wait. Okay, let's say 24 hours. Now you're going to hold down the left mouse button on the slider and then you're going to hit the enter button and quickly slide the slider back to zero. Okay, so hit enter, slide back to zero and that's how you can wait very quickly. Okay, that's how you do that in case you're wondering. It's not a mod, it's just simply uh, I'm not going to see a feature, maybe a glitch in Skyrim that allows you to wait very quickly. Right, that's how I do that. Um, what is going on here? Disenchant. Nothing can be disenchanted, so we can sell everything. Okay. I didn't touch it. I think I saw it there. Everyone, take a look. Correction, Angol. I I have seen some hammers with legs. In my travels. <laughs> uh, this can go, that can go, and this can go. All the lockpicks can go, and we're definitely gonna hang on to that orc alchemy and get whether it's armor you need or a new blade. Come see I me. travel. Take a look. That can go. Uh, I'm tempted to hang on to these, but no, sell them. We need the money. All these can go, we can't use them. Dwarven oil, of course I was collecting because, um, as you can see, it's worth a pretty penny each. So there we go, 100 gold just for those 20. That's why I was collecting those. And she's down to her last dollar. Let's go on over to... Thank you for your custom. You need oh, anything. Atheron. Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. Okay, and I've got some junk for you, buddy. Very good. Be sure to stop by Sadri's used wares in the Grey Quarter. That's a wonderful idea, but not today. Let's go back to the homestead. We are going back to the scene of the crime, like I said, with as much carry weight as we can muster up. This means we're going to dump our armor. Okay, we're going to go there. We're going to go there naked. I'm 
debating whether I should. Uh, I don't like taking my soul gems out of my inventory, so we're gonna keep these on board. Keep the torches, definitely. Um, what else can we? Going without a weapon, hmm, this could be risky because if there is a dwarven spider that I missed, um, we're going to be completely helpless. Uh, yeah, let's give it a shot. Okay, so we're down to 15. We don't really need the venison stew either. Down to 13. What's weighing, What's weighing me down? It's all these soul gems. Let's take a chance. I don't really like storing soul gems because sometimes they accidentally lose their charge, but I'm going to take a chance here. <laughs> Down to two carry weight. <laughs> How low can we go? How low can we go? Down to one. What is that one? Oh, the torches. We need the torches. Okay, I'm down to one carry weight. Okay, I think I'm gonna do a quick save here just in case this goes horribly wrong. All right, so we have mustered up as much carry weight as we can possibly can. Let's go up to the tire stone because we're gonna need to open a lot of locked doors. Sorry, I had an itchy nose. Okay, so we have the tower stone. We can open any expert lock or lower once a day. Back to the scene of the crime. Okay, going in completely naked. No weapons, no armor. No potato soup, nada. We are on a looting mission. Okay, here's a good time to do a quick save. Okay, here we go. Let's go hammer storm. We looted that, we looted that. Pretty much everything in the beginning we've already done. our first customer gotta watch out some of these doors have traps so what do we get a ring of minor striking didn't I just sell one of those anyways and a silver ring we can use that for enchanting very good let me just wait to recharge my tower stone Okay, there is... Oh, we already looted this. I already did that, very good. Okay, this is useless. We've already looted all this stuff, it's all useless. Just double check to make sure that there's something I didn't uh, overlook. 
and into the end among the, and, and the, that place. <laughs> this should be a locked door right here. There we go. Unlucky, lucky. And what do we got here? We have some iron ingots. Some press gem, precious gems, and a chest. Oh, a gold diamond ring. Thank you very much. Cha ching, cha ching. Very good. for you, Mr. Hammerstorm. Mm -hmm. Alright, give me something good. Oh, the game is giving it up. I love you, game. Here's a big sloppy wet smooch for you. Alright. Do a quick save here. What do we got here? Uh, useless and a dwarven bolt. Yep, take that. Those are useless. This, as you can see, this this is a trap. You can do the exact same thing that I showed you before. Get right up against the door, open the door, and then push forward and run as fast as you can. Let me just do a quick save just in case this goes horribly wrong. Open. That way you can avoid the trap. <laughs> Can't test this day. Can't test this day. Why do you mock me? Why do you mock me, game? These beautiful high bracers of minor alchemy. This is so perfect, but we can't use them. This. I forget what skill this is. Um, I wouldn't want to take an enemy's restoration. Right, no. Okay. Let's reload the game. Ah, hello. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, there's the good stuff. There's the good stuff. Okay, and I believe our work here is done. Beautiful. Nice haul. Nice haul. Hello? Is there anybody out there? <laughs> Definitely. What's your story? Definitely. Oh, hello. Bad. Oh, you can search these guys. Oh, okay. I always wonder how you can uh, access those guys up on that level there. Okay, I wonder if there's anybody over here. Okay, very 
good. Alright, uh, which way? This way. How are we doing? 153. you're not aware I'm just crapping my pants hoping that I didn't leave a dwarven spider behind because like I said I got nothing got nothing no protection so something could be aerial here we go yeah okay let's wait I'm gonna have to bail out like this this run will be essentially ruined if uh, we run into any resistance okay what do you got for me potions that we can't use and the chest has stamina region interesting interesting it's a very useful enchantment and I think our work here is done Looks like somebody already came by earlier and looted that stuff. <laughs> okay, any dwarven spiders that I left behind? No, it looks pretty good. Let's take a good look around. Okay, it's at this point, I, if I recall correctly, my inventory got full, so we should start collecting a lot of stuff now. I partly looted this room. That's all the crap I don't. Okay, that was like the uh, the dumb spider. <laughs> there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Take that. Beautiful. Ah, there we go. like Bugs Bunny was in the vicinity. Okay. <laughs> what? What? It's okay, Slack. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Move on. Continue. Continue the mission. We got these two guys for sure. Definitely. A spoon? Seriously? Okay, what's your story, Drennan? Oh, we already took your stuff. Let's take that.
Here we go. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. I'm getting full up here. Yeah. And we're into the boiler. Okay, almost there. Should be a lot of good stuff down here. Excellent. It's like two gold diamond rings. Okay, we got some post mortem spazzing going on here. Let's take that off his hands. Be some solid Dwemer metal around here somewhere. Or some dwarven metal ingots. Maybe that's further on. Here we go. That's what I'm talking about. Here we go. This stuff right here. There we go. There should be some more. Uh, right here. Very good. Very good. Very good. Excellent. 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 I think we are at the end of the line. No, it's just a matter of getting out of here out of here safely. We'll take that. This is it, it's the end of the line. Now, that Dwarven Centurion is going to be wandering around now instead of just staying in the one spot, so we're going to have to like negotiate him. We do the same thing, stick off to the right here. Okay, stick to the right. Same thing exactly as we did before. Get up here. Okay, now it's a good time to make our move. Wait, what's, what's this? Oh, yeah, great, excellent. Oh, great, excellent. Run. Run. I wonder if there's another one on the other side. <laughs> I still got 10 pounds. Uh, just trying to see if there's another dead centurion I could loot over on the other side there. It doesn't look like it. Okay, we're out of here. Let's not. Uh, Push the outside of the envelope too much. Okay, great. Excellent. Excellent. Let's go home and smelt everything up and see how much dwarven metal ingots, how many dwarven metal ingots we came up with. I'm hoping for at least 65. Area. <laughs> the one time I expect her to say something and she says nothing. Okay, here we go. And we'll just leave that ironing it as is for now. Okay, so what do we come up with? Beautiful. Beautiful. I believe it got 23 the first time. So that's like 84. That's the best I've ever done. OK, 
Good haul. Good haul. Get in there, my lovely dwarven metal ingots. That gives me a total of 101? Okay. That's a game changer. I think that calls for a Mr. Burns. Excellent. Thank you, Mr. Burns. That's great. Okay, so now um, there's another issue. How many? Uh, I did manage to get another filled grant, so let's just take back all their soldier. Let's just take everything and dump back what we don't need. All these daggers. I'm gonna sell that, sell that, sell that. And this stuff I'm gonna disenchant, disenchant, disenchant. Actually, the ring of striking, we obviously already have that. Disenchant, sell that. The silver rings, we can use those for enchanting to save us having to smelt. And all the rest of it goes. Very good. Okay, so. Perfect. We have two, two filled grands. Okay. First of all, let's sell off. Actually, there's something else I want to do first. Uh, we haven't been to Solitude yet. Every time you go to Solitude for the first time, everybody's crowded around watching the beheading and I want to get them out of that Where mode so let's go? go there now Climb solitude my good man we'll use my all access pass first time to solitude beautiful old city capital of skyrim but i'm sure you already knew all right and when you get dropped off in solitude you get your horses at Catless Farm. Let's just ride up to Solitude. Enter. So that the next time we come back, everybody will be back to business as normal. If you come to Solitude, you join the There was no murder. Sorry, you need to go home. I beat the city of White Run in fair combat. <laughs> Major of Slack. You mercilessly slaughtered over a, a dozen White Run guards in cold blood, and you call that fair combat? Yes. Such is our ways. Such is our traditions. And if you don't know what I'm referencing, that is the first yeah, legendary run. Quiet to do, we're doing a walkthrough here. Yeah, that's the very first legendary run I did uh, back in 2014 where I launched my ebook and I did a. Uh, well, go watch it. I'll put a link in the video description and or the comment section. Really great bit I did with a sweet roll. What the hell is going on here? Why is it? Why is Adriana not at work? There she is. Okay. Got some good people. Take a look. Okay. Don't need this. Don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. Where's my weapon? Uh oh. Don't forget to check inside the shop if you need anything. I don't need that. Take a good look around. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. Everything's. Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. Boy, what a haul. Two gold diamond rings.
do come back. All right, now we want to, um, I'll do the rest of the selling off camera. Let me just uh, correct the situation here. There we go. Okay back in business. Carry weight is respectable. We are armed. We need, <clears throat> pardon me, we need two more, two more grand souls. Let's go to, since we're flush, we're flush with cash. Let's go buy a couple of Black Soul Gems for Falion, and then go up to the Lord's Stone, give him a spanking, and... Fill up those Black Soul Gems. Alright, come on Falion. My talents are much needed here in order to keep Morthal as a... Hmm. I had you figured for a mage. I... That's Til one. Till next time. It's time. Till next time. My talents... Which is right now. ...and incantations for those with the talent to cast them. Very good. All Excellent. Right. Let's go do some spanking. Okay, okay, okay guys, you know the routine. Everybody bend over, roll down your panties, and get a spanking. That's one. And somebody forgot to eat their venison stew. Somebody forgot to bring some venison stew. Uh oh. Uh. Okay. This is an emergency. Just die already. Thank you. All right. Mission accomplished. Now we need. Why are we doing all this, you may be asking. We are doing all this because I want to create a smithing suit. Clothes, gloves, ring, and necklace. Um, gloves can be a little tricky to find, which is why I went to Solitude. We can always go to Radiant Raiment, buy some gloves. Pretty sure I have some, a couple of silver ingots back of the homestead I can use to make a necklace. Or at least a gold ingot. Oh, let's see if we can't find an outfit that suits you. Oh, let me see how bitchy I can be with you today. Here we go, gloves, that's all we want. Finally. Ta ta. Next, a blacksmith's apron we can get from a good buddy in Riverwood, Alvor. We're friends with Alvor. Even if his home is not open, we're welcome in his home. I believe I still have the tower stone hooked up. Indeed, I do. Let's walk right in. And here we go. Blacksmith's apron. Free to take. Let's just grab that. That should be it. Meat stone.
well rested. We have a blacksmith's apron. We have some gloves. We have, I know we have a ring. Good Honored day, Rhea. To see you again, my fame. And there we go. That's, that's the kind of service I expect from you. And we are looking for a gold ingot. Great. Do I have a silver ingot? No, but that'll do. What am I doing? This is not what I want to do. This is what I want to do. I want to make a gold necklace. Gold, silver, it doesn't matter. Just make a necklace. There we go. We have a necklace. I'm positive I have a couple of silver rings inside. You lost. <laughs> That's so funny. Okay, so we have all the makings for a smithing suit. There's my silver ring. Let's do it. All right, quick save before we have a major crafting session. And blacksmith's apron, grand soul gem. Fortify smithing. If you don't have the fortify smithing enchantment, you're gonna have to buy some. Buy one. Best place to go is where I just went. Radiant raiment. Good place to go to find a fortify smithing enchanted item. All right. This is called this the smithing. The smithing suit. And these should be coming out at 14%. That is correct. Smithing. And smithing necklace. Smithing ring. Beautiful. Okay, it loads up. All right, so now we have a smithing smooth smithing suit. We can raise our effective smithing level by fifty six percent. This means we can make legendary. We can improve up to legendary. That's assuming that we have the arcane smithing perk. Conveniently enough, we just gained a perk point. Let's get the arcane smithing perk. Arcane blacksmith, you can improve magical weapons and armor. One piece. And let's see if we have four auric alchemy ingots. We do indeed, one, two, three, four. Do we have some sort of moonstone? We do. Excellent. Long life to you, Thane. Excellent. <laughs> Want to refine moonstone? Let's put on the smithing suit. We have the smithing suit on. We should now be able to improve everything to legendary. This is because along with the help of the ancient knowledge perk, which we got from Avant and Zell, our smithing level is actually 77. And that is further increased up to, um, I think you can actually see it. No, it doesn't show here. But it's further increased by the smithing suit up to around 90, just over 90. That means we can improve everything to legendary. Very good. And we can improve our Elven Warhammer with the aid of the refined Moonstone up to legendary. Mission accomplished. So now our armor rating. With the Lord Stone is going to be up to 492, and our weapon damage is going to be up to 140. Excellent, excellent. So we're pretty close to the armor cap.
at level 19. That's pretty damn good. That's really good. There we go. Armor rating 492. The armor cap without a shield is 567. Just a little short. There you go. That is it. Thanks a lot for watching. The extra long video for you guys that I did some looting in the beginning. Um, if this video helped you out or if this walked you helped you out, post a comment. I love to hear from my target audience. And don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel to make sure you get all my videos hot out the press. All right. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Hey guys, real walkthroughs like these are an endangered species here on YouTube. For a complete lowdown on the YouTube video game walkthrough scene, check out my Patreon page and please consider making a donation to yours truly, Major Slack, to help keep real walkthroughs alive on YouTube. You can donate as little as $1. That's $1, that's all. That's all it takes. Alright? Thanks a lot. Really appreciate it.